Meanwhile, tonight, brick and mortar stores also feeling the impact. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burden speaking to a local pie company trying to survive the double squeeze of supply and demand. Like a well-oiled machine, you have the cake makers working on hundreds of chocolate cakes topped with Hershey Kisses. And these folks over here are getting the graham cracker crust ready for the cheesecakes and pies. And these two are packing everything up. Welcome to Mike's Pies. This march, it'll be uh, 30 years. Owner Mike Martin says all of these recipes came from his grandmother. According to Mike, the demand for these sweet treats grow every year. That's why he moved their headquarters to this bigger warehouse over near Falkenberg Road. He says he's never really worried about the future of the business until the pandemic. He had to lay off half of the staff and cut back on orders. I've been in fear <laughs> of closing. You know, it's kind of emotional for me because, you know, we've been doing this for, for so long. And just when things started to get back to normal, Mike's Pies got hit with a supply shortage on ingredients like wheat, berries, honey, soybean oil, and the all-important graham cracker crust. We pivoted, like I mentioned earlier, to uh, manufacture out of Canada. And all of these bags filled with over 270 pounds of graham cracker. This crucial order came in last week. Mike's Pies isn't the only business impacted by the shortage. We have car dealerships that don't have enough cars. Big box stores are running out of certain toys, clothes, and electronics. And grocery stores are in the same boat. We're in the midst of right now with holiday season, peak season. So you're taking a supply chain that's already jammed up and then adding holiday surges on top of that. So it just makes it exponentially worse. Bill Thayer is the co-founder and CEO of PhilLogic. His company works with retailers, helping them come up with ways to stay afloat during times like these. He says the problem existed long before COVID-19, but the pandemic definitely accelerated it. The logistics infrastructure in the world um, has never done a really good job of being able to support the demand of e-commerce. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.